All right. So today I'm going to attempt to delid this old Athlon. I've had my fun with it. I don't really care if it breaks. I've put it through its paces. I've water cooled it to make tea. I've built a put it in a trash motherboard and got it to work. And I want a Ryzen CPU because of it. So I'm not mad if it breaks. It, I know it's probably one of the soldered ones. So I'm going to have to desolder it, which is going to be tricky, but I think if I get my soldering iron up to temp, I might be able to melt the solder. So here's the tool I'm going to be using. It's an X-Acto knife, but I sharpied up the areas so I can make it. So if, I, if it starts hitting the black, I know I'm going in too far. So I, I basically hopefully won't hit cut into the SMDs and stuff. All right, this camera angle isn't very good, so I'm gonna rotate. It's kind of working. And I don't think the stand I made has enough structure to do it. Oh, maybe. If it falls, it falls. Oh well. in a bit deep but it barely went into the black worst case scenario I can get a cool die shot out of this uh, haven't bent any pins yet which is good alright so we've got one corner let's see if I can which corner was it I think it's that corner there. Here it is. Let's see if I can get that to focus. So right there I've got the blade in. And cut the glue. So now I'm going to try and push the blade along into there. Keep going along. Good news is I don't think I've hit anything solid yet. And then I don't remember if I did this corner or not. Oh. Oh, it's one of the ones that isn't soldered. So let's see. All right. Here, even on this, you can see all the little SMDs that I was talking about. Now, this is the uh, X45. I think so in if, if my theory is accurate with the why these little SMDs are here potentially I could maybe turn this into an X 250 if I had another chip that used the same little bits so yeah a successful D-Lid that's pretty nice so as you can see it wasn't soldered on there 
I, I practiced yesterday. My first D-lit attempt was on an old Pentium 4 when they used the PGA grid. And I got it successful the first time, and it worked. And then the second one was a newer Pentium 4 when they moved to the 775 LGA socket. And that one was soldered, and it fucked everything. I, I ended up pulling the thing off. I just pulled the whole die off the board with the heat spreader. It was kind of cool, and I took a 9-volt battery to it, and it created some sparks. I took the uh, the old dead Pentium D and deleted it for practice. Now, I have no idea how I'm going to cool this, though. That's the problem. So, yeah, as you can see there, I got it deleted. There's no SMDs on the Intel ones. They're all on the bottom and stuff. But I think those are different things. So yeah, Oops. see how I deleted the heat spreader. No, I might go try some direct die cooling, but I'm unsure yet. So yeah, that's how you delit a CPU. Uh, it's Sharpie. For, I, I looked at that. and I'm like, oh, did I cut into myself or something? And no, it's just the Sharpie from this coming off. My Sharpie outline worked perfectly. So yeah, there's another, there's, a, that's how you deal with CPUs that you know aren't soldered. Most of the newer Intels you can do with this, but with all the AMD Ryzen's, you're going to have to desolder them. I was hoping that this one would be soldered because I want to try and delid one that's soldered because I've been experiment. I, I thought the Pentium D that this was, was soldered on too. And I went to delid it and I was disappointed because it was soldered on and I'm trying to get into the desoldering of the heat spreaders, but sadly this one, which should have, well, I thought it would have been soldered, is still using the, yeah. All right, well, I didn't bend any of the pins from what I can tell. I got something stuck on that one, but I can just yank that off. It just looks like a thing, a fuzzer bit of skin. That one, pin two. Don't see any bent pins. Oh, that one's a little bent, but that's for me pulling out of the socket. So yeah, a successful D-Lead. You'll probably see me attempt to direct die cool it. So yeah, quick little video. Sorry for having to turn into a vertical camera for a bit there, but I don't have a proper stand. I literally took like a pen box and just cut a slot out of it for my phone and that's what I'm using as a stand because I knew this would I thought this would be a cool video to make so I made a stand in for it so but it wasn't high, it wasn't high enough where I could do it without risking damaging the pins or being able to see what I was doing uh, so I flipped it upwards so sorry for switching to the uh, crappy portrait mode instead of landscape but I might try and edit it into the standard so yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed. That's how you delete a CPU.